Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Kellyanne Class. This week is going to be a, dif a different change from last week. We're talking about below average temperatures, making it feel a lot more like December. Compared to yesterday, though, we are going to be a lot colder and that's all thanks to a cold front moving on through 68 degrees was our high temperature yesterday. Keep in mind that peaked during the middle of the day and by middle of the day. I mean early afternoon. Usually we see high temperatures around uh, three, four o'clock this time of year. Yesterday's high temperature was almost around 12. 30 from that approaching cold front that passed on through that cold front did not bring any rainfall, but it did bring a few clouds across the area this morning from our Lomisa life sky. But you can see those clouds just draped across the South Plains. No precipitation with that, but a lot of cold air. Here's a look at the statewide temperatures right now as that front continues to pass through the state of Texas. 27 in Amarillo, 32 in Lubbock, but looking more locally, we do have a few 20s, especially up to the north. 28 in Botulia and Friona, 27 in Dimmit to start off your morning. Morning, and temperatures will feel a lot colder than that, and that's all thanks to these northerly winds sustained at about 15 to uh, almost 10 miles per hour. So this is what it actually feels like outside to start off your morning, feeling like 19 degrees in Tulia, feeling like 23 right now in Lubbock. 21 is what it feels like in Gale. So bundle up, wear those layers. By later on this afternoon, it's still going to be chilly as well. So not one of those things where you could take your jacket off during the afternoon. Temperatures by later on today will be into the upper 30s and lower 40s. So we. We will keep those overcast conditions that will help for temperatures to hover into those upper 30s and lower 40s throughout rest of the afternoon. Tonight going to be another cold night as temperatures fall into the 20s, but then by tomorrow afternoon, even though it's warmer, Technically, it's still going to be very cold outside with temperatures into the mid 40s. We continue to get that slow warm up on the way uh, by Thursday, already back up into the mid to upper 50s, really not until about later on this week and into this weekend when we reach the 60s once again. But we first have to get through some of those 40s with those well below average temperatures. Looking ahead within the next 8 to 14 days, the Climate Prediction Center is clearly hinting on above average precip above average temperatures within this time period and looks like maybe we could even get some rainfall or precipitation with that as well as they're hinting at above average precipitation within the same exact time period. So the drying trend still continues at least for now, but maybe within the next week or two we can get a little bit more of that moisture in the forecast. Otherwise today mostly cloudy 41 degrees as that as a high temperature, but keep in mind we do have a breezy north and northwesterly wind about 10 to 15 miles per hour, so it will feel more like the mid to upper 30s throughout the rest of the daytime hours today. Tonight, another chilly one as temperatures fall into the 20s, mostly clear conditions as those clouds slowly begin to clear out later on this evening, leading to abundant sunshine tomorrow, but still some pretty cold temperatures as we only get up into the mid 40s, 53 by Wednesday, but then take a look at Sunday, 67. So quite the range in temperatures still. Thankfully, though, for all of you winter lovers, finally feeling like it this week. At least there's no wintry precipitation with that. Kellyanne, you put up your Christmas lights. Finally had to decorate. I love that. Yeah, we're counting down the days till Christmas, less than 10 days. Yeah, how to put it on the seven day. Had to decorate. Yeah, I, I, think, I know I've seen a lot of houses who are still out there on the weekends putting up those decorations. So at least we've got some good weather to do that if you're running a bit behind. Yeah, just bundle up. Kellyanne, thanks for.